Hey, this is Stephen from RC Engineering, and uh, this is the third week of February, and uh, this week we are doing the development video, and in the development video on the third week of every month, we're doing an analysis video until uh, the stretch goal is met on my Patreon, to where every um, every week we're going to get an extra analysis video like this. So th this is kind of an idea of what those videos would be like. So here we have the thrust stand that we've designed in the, the last four maybe development videos. And so here it is 3D printed in blue and I 3D printed this one in black for the motor mount. And the motor that's in here is a 7 millimeter, and it's glued, hot glued into this thing and this thing's just slid on top. Then you see our little bumper that's going to press down is right here. Then I just hot then I just hot glued it to the case of my um, hundredth hundredth of a gram scale. Now to pivot it, I just stuck a drill bit in there that's slightly under a quarter of an inch, and so now it pivots. Does it pivot the best? No, not really, but it pivots plenty fine for what we're doing. And then on here, I have a 65 millimeter King Kong prop, and we're going to compete the seven millimeter motor versus the eight and a half millimeter motor. And now these are special motors from a place called FPV Headquarters, uh, which I'll talk a little bit about in the description, or I'll talk a little bit about, about them later on. Uh, we'll discuss uh, that, that in a later video. So here are some of the details. The 7 millimeter is around a 9.8 kV and the 8.5 is around 11 kV. So we're going to see uh, what type, which one comes out on top for some of the more powerful uh, brush quads that we have. So basically how this is going to work out one second that's fine. Basically how this is going to work out is I'm going to use this 800 uh, milliamp hour 1, uh, 1S which is not high voltage or anything like that. It's 4.2 volts max charge. A 25C battery and um, I'm going to plug it into this lossy connector using these two pins obviously highly recommend you not do it this way you do it with a board but I just wanted to cut out the board just for any sort of weirdness that happens so I'm just gonna push those guys into this standard little 1.25 uh, millimeter uh, pitch connector and so what I've done is I've crimped these guys the jumper pins so the jumper pins just barely fit in there oh yeah they fit really nice in this one And each of these motors have not been run yet, so they're all brand new. And in between each run, swapping the motors out, I'm going to put the battery back on the charger. So let's go ahead and wait till this guy tears, and then drop this down to where it's sort of about to hit. And we're going to connect, I'm going to connect the negative first on the battery here. And I'm going to be very careful when I connect the positive that I do not short it out. And that those two pins are not shorting there. Alright, here we go. And again, this is a, this is a unbroken in motor. You can see as it's draining the battery, the uh, grams are, are dropping. But I saw like, what, 38? Something like that. Let's try it one more time. Checking the motor. Motor's not even hot. Again, making sure that guy's bottomed out. Negative first. Making sure also I don't reverse the polarity on the battery. Very, very careful with that. So I'm looking at about 25 grams. That's massive. So that's the 75, that's the, the 7 millimeter. So uh, I said 25 grams. Wow. And times four, obviously that's 100 grams. 100 grams of thrust times four. And itself, I can't really, uh, actually yes I can. Give me one second, we'll add this in with the program. I'll grab some of the other motors so that we can weigh them compared to themselves uh, to compare to the thrust that they develop. So let's go ahead and grab and then while I'm doing that, let's just to make it fair, 
Let's go ahead and throw this guy back on the charger. Okay, it's back on the charger. This is not a seven millimeter. Sorry, I grabbed a six. Uh, here's my sevens. Okay, so seven millimeter is 3.5 grams. Okay, so 3.5 grams yet yeah, does 25 grams of thrust. Okay, so let's go ahead and while that guy's doing what it's doing, let's go ahead and pop that off, pop that off, throw that over there, take this guy. Also, because this is a slightly bigger battery, I'm gonna, oh, it already is. It's already jumped up, it's at a 0.6 milliamp hour charge. And then I'm just gonna slide this guy on, just like that. And bottom it out to the where the motor's hitting. There it is, motor's hitting. I'm just gonna grab another one of these right hand props instead of bothering and taking that other one off. Let's throw that down. So, are these motors worth the weight and thrust? Okay, there it is. Okay, let's go ahead and plug in. Let's plug in the red first. Obviously, I'm double checking to make sure that the thrust is going the right way. Okay, one second. This one's being pain. Oop. That's good enough. Okay. This might be slightly lower because maybe the voltage did not pound, uh, bounce as much back up, but it will still see a good show, I think. Okay. Alright, I saw 52. Again, this has also never been run before. Okay, so let's give that a second to drop. Battery voltage pop back up. Check it for heat. No, no heat, that's fine. Again, you do not want to break in motors like this. You want to run a pack, uh, just idle, but we're gonna run it anyways. Okay, here we go, go back in. So I saw, at first I saw, so that's around 40, but we saw what, 55, uh, something like that. But I don't think I did as much on this one. So I'm, I'm going to say around 50 for that one. So that's 50 grams. Okay, so that's 50 grams. Let's go ahead and tilt this guy back. 50 grams, and the motor itself weighs 5.4. So, as you can see here from our results, 7 millimeter, 9.8 kV is 25 grams, uh, 3.5 grams of weight. Uh, 25 gram thrust, or you have an 8.5 motor, 11 kV, 50 grams, and that's a 5.4 gram, uh, 50 grams of thrust, and fi weighs 5.4 grams itself. So obviously the um, the 8.5 millimeter is definitely worth its weight, um, being double the thrust, yet obviously not double the weight is absolutely amazing. And as you can see, these these uh, these 65 millimeter King Kong props uh, really kick ass for sure. So that's super cool. My 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 rig there works. It would be, definitely be better if it's more of a lower uh, resistance as far as rotating, but it works fine for our uses right now. So obviously, if you have the option between a seven millimeter and eight and a half millimeter, go with the eight and a half. However, this is not testing with efficiency, so we'll have to go through that as well before we can make a uh, true answer on if how good it is as far as that goes. Um, other than that, that's just it for this video. We were just uh, versing a 8.5 by a 7 and uh, later videos we're going to do more uh, verses as far as the brushed motors uh, as we find more projects to use them in. So, this has been Steve from RC Engineering. I hope you guys liked this video. If you liked this video, please subscribe for more videos uh, in on my YouTube channel. 
Also, if you feel so obliged, please check out my Patreon. I am working on putting extra um, exclusive content on there as time goes on. So also updates on what's coming up and on my channel. And also super sweet rewards if you head out there and check it out. Anyways, uh, like thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching. Take it easy. Peace.